Hi, I'm Amy, and this is Philbert, and we're Philbert and Friends. Today's topic was suggested by a viewer, and they wanted to know more about training a guinea pig. So that's what our topic is for today. We want to give a special shout out to our youngest viewer, Mark, who watches Philbert and Friends. It's on our YouTube channel, and he watches it on his big screen TV. Can you imagine anything better than Philbert? Is Philbert this big? So thanks, Mark, for watching. And we're gonna go into today's topic, which is training a guinea pig. So, as you know from other episodes, I like to talk from my own experience. Philbert is my third guinea pig, and I haven't trained any of them to do tricks. Sometimes they'll have a quirk or a propensity to do something kind of quirky or interesting, and I'll encourage that and positively reinforce it, but I don't really train to do tricks. I have seen guinea pigs, um, respond to vocal commands in the sense I've seen people go pig 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 and they start to weak for their food but they're really responding um, knowing that they're about to get fed and that really is the way to get a guinea pig's trust and if you want to use the term train a guinea pig I tend to use the term um, earning a guinea pig's trust and there's a lot involved with that including Having a very calm atmosphere, I don't play a lot of loud music or loud TV. Um, I use slow motions when I'm around Philbert. I try to do things that would relax him and put him at ease, okay? Remember that guinea pigs are prey animals, and so they're always waiting for that hawk to come and swoop them up. So you don't want to be that hawk, and you don't want to make them think that they're about to get preyed on by another animal. So Philbert, with his food, what you can do, where are you, Philbert? What are you doing, bud? Oh, you're already eating? Well, are you hungry still? If you have a guinea pig, eat from your hand. That's, or take it right out of your hand. That's a good way to, <laughs> he's looking for a place to eat. Here you go, buddy. He's looking for a place to eat his carrot in peace. If you can feed your uh, guinea pig out of your hand, that's a good way to earn their trust. Now, I usually do let Philbert just take it, but I've seen people also hold on to it. Um, I don't like the idea, personally, of training a guinea pig with vegetables, like turning in a circle or other things I've seen. Because, to me, that's making them work for their food. And that's what guinea pigs are. They're eating machines. And I just, the idea of working for your food just doesn't sit well for me, personally. But if you are going to train your guinea pig to do tricks, you're going to use food and you're going to positively reinforce their behavior um, by giving them a small chunk of something to eat. So thanks for watching Philbert and Friends. That was the first of our two-part series on training your guinea pig. See you soon.